it's, this is the title decider. Yes, it's that important. So, but an Arsenal win, an Arsenal win mathematically and psychologically would be massive. Mathematically, no. Because as I said again, whoever wins those games, specifically the United and Tottenham games, are too crucial. But I think a City win makes things very complicated for Arsenal because of the United game and because of the Tottenham game. It's not over, but I think it makes things very complicated. If Arsenal were to win, that is a very big step. Yes, those games to come, but if Arsenal were to win, there's a mathematical point and there's a psychological point. You beat them twice now. Not only do you beat them twice, you beat them in the, oh, three, but within the league. Within the league, you beat them twice within the league and you beat them in the house. So from a mathematical point and from a psychological point, that would be huge for Arsenal. That would be absolutely huge for Arsenal. So I think that it's, it's big in both ways, but for the title race, Whoever wins, I don't think it will be the be all and end all. But a win for Arsenal, I feel, could be bigger than a City win. Because a City win, oh, that'd be huge and everything. A draw, it is where we're at. But, but an Arsenal win, an Arsenal win mathematically and psychologically could be massive. Egal, talk to me. How crucial do you think this, this game is going to be? Okay. What you have to understand is we have not been able to beat Manchester City since 2012. If I'm not mistaken, Santi Cazorla was the last time he, uh, we beat uh, we beat a Man City team away from home. We beat them at the at our house this year, and that was one record broken. Mikel Arteta broke the record at losing at White Hart Lane and away at Tottenham. He also broke the record at losing away at, at, at what do you call it, Manchester United. Now we need to break this hoodoo. If we not only beat Manchester City, we this is a changing. This could be. Uh, a changing in our mentality. This could be a change in in, in the mentality of how rivals view. Well, no, no, sorry, because I thought you were about to say this could be a changing of, of the guard. So I, I was about to go I crazy. Was gonna go. So. I was going to end it there. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, <laughs> yeah. Say, like, I was say, just was, chill. Was, because, 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 because chill, chill. if you had said change, if you had said changing of the guard, bro, oh I tell you, but that would have been crazy, bro. That would have been crazy, but continue. I was, I was about to. I was about to, but I stopped myself because really and truly, City's not going nowhere. Even if they were to uh, lose the league this season, they're not going nowhere. The, the changing of the guard would be with Liverpool. If we were to have beaten Liverpool, that would have been a change of the guard because I think we've taken Liverpool's position in the league from for, for the foreseeable future. The, you're not going to be seeing Liverpool anywhere near this title race talk come next season, in my opinion. It's going to be us and City. So the game, this game, mentality-wise, is crucial. League table-wise, guys, we're top of the table. I know it's level on points with Liverpool, but we're top of the table. If we beat City, not only have we taken one both games, six points off City, we've also taken four points off Liverpool. A team that beats their, their title rivals three out of the four games does not go on to lose the league. I don't care what anybody tells me, the run that we're on, if we beat, Liverpool, if we beat City, that will be the momentum that we need to go on to kickstart and uh, not kickstart but push on and get us to the final edge okay, okay so last year, okay, last, um, my last point last year the city loss was the final nail in our coffin i think a loss uh, away at city this time not only it won't be the final nail in the coffin but it could be the beginning uh, of something bad um okay, okay so before i go to that i just want to be clear here so if you beat city you believe we you win, win the league. league we're favorites to win it yes Okay. If we draw, if we draw, Liverpool are favourites. If we lose, City are favourites. Dio, how important do you think this game is for us? Oh, just sorry. sorry no, how important do you think this game could be for the title race? Do you think it is significant for the title race or there's so many important games left for the season? I mean, every game from now to the end of the season is important. There's nine games left or ten games at the most now. So it's not even about this game. I think for us, for Arsenal is more the psychological, and I'll and I'll give you my reasons why. Um, we've played City twice this this year. We beat them twice this year. How be it very marginally? How be it very marginally? With a bit of luck and everything else included. Um, also remember that 
the, of course, they didn't have some players because I know people always say that oh, they didn't have these players. But remember, we played them with Inketia, um, Trossard, and who else was up front for us as well? Saka and Martinelli was not in that game, right? So we can always call on our enter and say we didn't have people who could make the difference. But we played them twice this year. We beat them twice this year. City has only kept eight clean sheets in 28 games. We've kept 11, right? So there's a big difference then when you talk about the defense now because that the stats are showing that. If we're talking offensive, we have the most goals scored right now. Uh, our projection is just on the up and up. The two times we played them, we kept our XG, their XG and our XGAs were under 0. 0. 0.98, 0. 0.96, very close. 0. 0.42, 0. 0.52, very, very close margins. So it was so footballing wise, if you match us player for player, it's not a big margin between how good their players are and how good our players are. Rodri and Rice, yes, Rodri is better. But it's not it's not like Rodri's 99% and Rice is 30%. You see what I'm saying? There's mm. it's 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 th there's good margins there. If you're talking about speed, okay, they've got Doko and Grealish. Martinelli, speed. We can we can match these players for player, defender for defender. The, the margins are not too, super wide. So we can match them football for football. The only thing we can't match them for is at, is at the Etihad. That's the only thing that we can't match them for. That is at their home ground, and the Etihad is a formidable place. But if we can tune out the Etihad and the 12th man, I think we can go there and get a win. Vater, talk to me. How significant? This is this is the title decider. No, no wait, wait, no. wait, 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 Vater. You can't say that. Yes, I can. And you just heard from Dio. You just heard from Egal. Egal pointed out that if he wins, he's confident that their favorites moving forward. He said if if City wins, their favorite moving forward. How is this not a title decider? Because the winner of this becomes a favorite in the pursuit of the no, no, title. No, 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 no. Now, but but, but it's such a finite point. Because if, as, let's say, Arsenal win, are we ignoring the game that's to play against their rivals, Tottenham, and against Man United? You can't just ignore those not, games. I'm not ignoring it. But if they win this game and then fall short, it's bottling it. If they win this game what? and then fall no, short. No, no, Listen, no. yes, I know you don't like that word. I know Chelsea don't like to hear that word right now. Sorry, kid. Um, but if you win this game against three P, treble winners, best in the world, and then go on to lose to Spurs or go on to lose to Brighton or Aston Villa, listen, that is poor. That is poor. Now, I like Dale. I've been watching him. I see how he moves. He takes his time. He's when he's like this, he's thinking, he's calculating. <laughs> He's going through, he's, he like, he's a stats man. Now, when you look at the stats and when you want to look at what I like to pay attention to is form. I like to look at the last 10 games because that gives you a good, gives you a good percentage. Because, you know, when you have 10, you can multiply it and get to 100. You can, you can work that out. Would you believe that City have the best form amongst Arsenal and Liverpool in terms of the last 10 games? Would you believe that despite, sorry? Are you sure about that? Across what, all competitions or just in the league? No, no, no. We're talking league. This is all we're doing with league, you guys. I know you <laughs> want to maybe bring in bring in the Champions League and Liverpool want to bring in the Europa. No, but in the league, the last 10 games, surprisingly enough, City are in very good form. Now, I'm kind of in, in agreement with you. And I know HH, the kid, is in the building. I'm in agreement with maybe it's not going to decide the entire league. But... When you have City that have been doing it five out of six, I got to use two hands, five <laughs> out of six. When you got Liverpool that have won it as well, when they're in a position of strength and leading it, you can kind of say, okay, yeah, they're in control. Now, I think there would still be doubts. Egal knows this. We've talked. We talk often. Rivals. I still think there's doubts if Arsenal are to win this game. And the reason why is because there's still that psychological aspect that Dayo and, and Egal mentioned. There's still that we need to show that we can prove it. We, we need to show that we can hold this expectation of winning the league. Because the way I like to do the stats, I look at the form. Do you believe a year ago, this same week, this same week when I was trying to win my 3 P, I I only had two at the time. But this same time last season, all praise on Arsenal, five points up. H H, 10 games to go, Arsenal were five points up. And they obviously conceded. Okay. They relinquished the lead. Let me finish, Egal, please. Let me finish. 
Now there's a huge, there's a lot of differences. They've acquired players. We've lost players. As difference as mentality, know. difference viewpoints. Yeah, you know, of, uh, agreed. But we gotta we gotta look at something. We gotta take information when we have it. Not only do the fan base need to be able to show that they got bottled to deal with the last remaining ten games and nine games after the city game, but that they gotta show that they can still pursue and deal with Champions League as well as the league. Now. It's not so easy just to look at the fixture list and say, oh, win here, win here, win here, win here. No, nah, that's lazy. When you look at when you look at Crunks, when you look at Patrick, chess, we've been here. We ain't just looking at fixtures. When are these games being played? Wait, wait, but, but, but say, is that with or without an oil rig? With or without an oil rig? No, it's a simple question. With or without an oil rig? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Make I'm just saying. <laughs> look, they, so, I love oil. Oil you makes 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 the world go round. You, you <laughs> have to love right. oil, and just for just for all of you, well, we also chat, have Chelsea. Oh. Yeah, I don't like how you've abandoned your roots. <laughs> right? I don't like Forgot how you've done that. You're moving different. <laughs> no, Bram was, was a philanthropist. Bram was a philanthropist, but but we were, <laughs> we were oil brothers for a minute, and now you've changed up on us. I see how you're moving, but now nah, I'm. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, that's wow. crazy! Wow. That's crazy! That's crazy! Right. <laughs> that's I'm, crazy! I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my Manchester City lawyers deal with that. Yo, can you send um, me that photo, Dale? I need that. Arteta, Arteta, Arteta will feed you on Sunday. Dale, can you send me that feed photo? You on hey, the only okay, so, man getting fed is Arteta. Wait, wait. So, 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 before I, I go to Kronk, is this so your so your final answer is this is a title decider? This will be significant. This is a title decider. Yes. It's that important. I don't. I'm not joking. I didn't even know there was other games on Sunday. I didn't. Who's playing? Liverpool game? Brighton play before, bro. Literally just before really? you guys. Really? Nobody cares about that. No one's watching. Thank you very much, Egal. Egal, Egal, that's, don't need Egal, Egal that's crazy. We don't. We no, don't. No, so, okay, so you, you, you can't ignore Liverpool, guys. The at the moment, this is a three-horse race. The reason why we expect Liverpool to win. The only time that game matters is if they drop points. But all I'm saying is that you can't just and whether they're, but Liverpool are still in the it is it is a three horse race. There are three dudes up in this piece. Three. Know, but we didn't know they were playing. The biggest, we didn't know they were playing. Everyone keeps talking about Liverpool as as they're still in the title race. Yes, they are. They are. It's a three horse race. But the team that everyone's looking at as the most likely to drop off is actually Liverpool. I think, interesting. I think Arsenal and City are the two teams that people are the most threatened by. Liverpool might be tied on points with Arsenal right now, but the reality of the situation is they're hoping for a draw, but they're probably they probably don't even want a City win. Some Liverpool fans would probably tell you they'd rather Arsenal win because they're more worried about City than Arsenal. PTSD. Okay, so okay, so so so, so Kronk, do you do you agree with your City brother? This is a title decider. If City win, forget it. Who cares? It's all over, all done, all eyes on um, City, Chelsea, Epic Cup, and where we hope to dunk on your Catalonian baldy. Go for it. Uh, yeah, I'm with Bayer, the storyteller over here. <laughs> Honestly, I will go bigger picture. This match, if City win, could be the beginning of what the end of Arteta's career at Arsenal. Because if whoa, you guys, because is this a title decider? We or no? Sure. No, 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 no. We, I told you, right here, we deal with, yes. I mean, no, 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 you have to be a Sith. I deal in absolutes. It's either yes or no. There's not, am I sure? Maybe, I guess, kind of, maybe. So, no, 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 no. Not shoulda, woulda, coulda. It's that's yes fair. or no. I'm a Sith. That's fair. That's fair. No, that's fair. Yes. yes. Uh, all, all I want to say is this. Uh, in Africa, we say <laughs> even a dog, even a dog during a full moon thinks that a lion or a wolf. This is what's happening to these Arsenal fans, you know? And, uh, this particular game here, it is a title decider because if we slap them in the mouth as we always do, I don't think they're going to be walking around the chest anymore. It's going to be very emotional. Let's not forget that this Arsenal side is emotional. The fan base is emotional. You can see their, their players are emotional. It was emotion that led them to the ground last season because they sometimes get too overexcited, HH. The fans plus the players. Like, look at Odegaard taking pictures after winning. Look at them doing fist bumps and jumping as if it's the end of the world. It's a very emotional. Like I'm, it's okay if you celebrate, but they're a very emotional bunch, including the fan base. I just came from a stream where one of the Arsenal fans called his team the big dogs. 
that the big dogs are coming to the Etihad. How can you call yourself a big dog if you haven't won the title in 20 plus years? How can you call yourself a big dog? I never heard Liverpool calling themselves big dogs and they were doing well. So I'm saying this, this, this title race depends on Sunday because if Arsenal win, this can be a motivational thing for them because as I said, they're very emotional. They'll be like, yeah, we can have it. But if City slap them in the mouth, as we always do, I'm telling you, it will bring that confidence down. I'm pretty sure you won't see any of these Arsenal fans, again, talking with chest or speaking anymore. But all I can say to Arsenal fans is I want you to go back to Liverpool fans and ask them that there were moments where City were down points to Liverpool, down points to Liverpool. And Liverpool were stronger than Arsenal, more threatening than Arsenal. They came to the Etihad with the same chest and they left with a defeat or a draw. I'm telling you guys... I remember Dayo has already told me on Terry's channel that they're coming to the Etihad and beating us 3-1. The best thing you should be praying for at the Etihad is a draw. Because people keep saying Walker is out, John Stones is out. But you must remember KDB is fresh. We just kept him. He wasn't injured. And Igal, you know yourself, KDB gives you nightmares. Even the City account posted a five-minute video of KDB dunking on Arsenal teams one after the other so we'll see i think it's a dialogue decide i think whoever wins to, on sunday the mentality changes because you know if you give city a sniff that's it but if we also give uh ateta an opportunity with arsenal since they're very emotional this emotion can elevate them and they can actually win the title so that's what i'm saying